Hi, welcome back everyone to the Laser Life Care Institute. I'm sitting here today interviewing my dear colleague and dear, very dear friend, Dr. Jason Pang from Sydney, from Sydney Laser Therapy and Cosmic uh, Laser Dent Dentistry as well. We're here after three days of doing a, a, one of the advanced laser courses that we teach together, the Path to Light Walkers, but more importantly, I would like to pick Jason's brain today on photobiomodulation. The, let's say it's an upcoming field, although it's been upcoming for a long time now. <laughs> I think it's coming of age right now. Uh, in, in dentistry, in specific, as well as in other areas of healing uh, modalities that we're happily entering into um, in, this, in this period of time. So, without further ado, welcome back, Jason. Oh, thank you very much. Very pleased to be here back in Auckland again, in lovely Auckland. Uh, it's put on the nice weather for us, so... The order is special for you. Yes. <laughs> It's been really good actually the, the last couple of days we've been teaching the, the dentists you know all about laser dentistry and all the wonderful things that you can do with laser dentistry but but as you said photobiomodulation really is one of the most underutilized aspects of, of the laser in, in dentistry you know they, even though you know even in 1957 they started to find the, the, the uses for, for lasers and, and how it heals the human body I mean, in dentistry, some of the simple things that, that we can do is tooth sensitive things. So yes. if the tooth is sensitive, you can, you can use the laser, make the tooth um, much less sensitive in, in just 30 seconds, a minute, something like that. Now, if you use it after something like root canal, uh, the tooth will, will be um, a lot less painful. If, uh, if you use it for uh, moving teeth, you can not only help the teeth to move more quickly, in orthodontics. In, in orthodontics, yes. exactly. Um, tooth moves more quickly, but, but also less, has less pain. Yes. And then there's, there's lumps and bumps around the face. So if you get a, a mouth ulcer, we can, we can make the mouth ulcer you know, uh, disappear um, in just a few days. But, but once we, we treat the ulcer, it can be, it can be pain free. And that's the most immediate reaction that the people actually love and want. Of course, they hope to heal faster long term but immediately they want the pain to go away and we can do that. No, that's right. I mean the, the ulcer will go away all by itself but, but it's painful and it's irritating, you know, so we can, we can help with the pain very very quickly. Absolutely. And from, from that this is these are mostly interoral applications of multiple laser wavelengths, um, usually in the red and the near infrared uh, range that we're talking about here. However the most exciting part of all this is what we can do for people's debilitating pains around the head and neck and then we'll go into the rest of the body now. So can you tell us more about your experiences with the TMJ and head and neck and neuralgia pains yeah. um, and neck pain and shoulder pain, basically just focusing around this whole area, all these chronic aches and pains that to some people it can be detrimental to their quality of life to the point of suicide or suicidal thoughts. Yes, I mean I mean, pain, pain is very much relative to everyone, um, but for some, you know, uh, it can be debilitating. And I mean, sometimes if, if you know how short you can be if you've had a lack of sleep, yes. um, but a lack of sleep can also make your pain worse. If, if, you, if you start to grind at night, you, you might have a pain in your jaw joint. Um, and so you can use the laser to, to, to um, give a bit of analgesia, uh, re reduce the pain. You know the same thing around the head and neck. You know it, it, it may be um, you know some stiffness in the neck. Uh, it could be a little bit of headache, and, and those are, are things that are some quite easy to treat w with the laser. Um, but one of the one of the things that really has come to the forefront at, at the end of last year, um, the um, National Institute for Health and Care Excellence in the UK now recommends. Um, low level, what they used to call low level laser therapy, now they call it photobiomodulation, the use of, of the light inside the mouth to treat oral mucositis. Yes. So oral mucositis is like giant ulcers that you get inside the mouth as a result of cancer treatments, both chemotherapy or radiotherapy. And a burning sensation that goes with it. Yeah. Full mouth burning, everything's on fire. Extremely painful, extremely painful to the point where the patients actually want to stop the cancer therapy because it's so painful. So by doing a treatment like this inside the mouth and getting rid of their the mouth ulcers, they're able to continue with the cancer treatment. So in, in And in still have a life. Yeah. Still exactly. be able to eat and 
I mean, kiss, this, maybe just speak. These are not yeah. just adults. These, these the normal are, these function. Are children as well. Yes. You know, in the right in the, the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne, this is the the frontline treatment for for oral mucositis. You know, so we're really helping people's lives, and it and it can be done so quickly. And it's amazing that finally we have, like I said at the beginning of, of, of the video, that we have come of age, collectively, or enough of us now, that it's becoming the standard of care. So it's not that there's more and more evidence only, which there is, and there's always going to be more, but it is being accepted as, yes, this should be done. This evidence has to be applied to help those human beings every day. So it's really good, and I'm humbled that we've stuck with this long enough to see this day um, come now, that it is becoming the standard of care and standard protocols in hospitals. I believe the NHS as well in, in, in the UK are including that as a standard part of their cancer therapy, especially for, for hereditary cancer. That's right, and then in the US, you're starting to see compensation from some of the insurance companies for, for things like oral mucositis as well. You know, but you know, the, the, the light then, it heals the human body, so it's, it's not, we have to start thinking outside of just our own specific areas. I mean, we're dentists, so we're treating the mouth, but you know, the, the, what happens in the eye, you know, there's, there's a condition called dry age-related macular degeneration. And the treatment for that is to use the, the red light on, on the eyes. Um, and there's, there's start studies and trials that are undergoing right now for that. But then, you know, the, the use of, of, um, of, of opioids is, is, is quite on the rise in both overseas and in Australia and we can help reduce the, the need for, for those pain, pain medications by, by using photobiomodulation. modulation. I mean as, as dentists we, we take up a wisdom tooth or something like that you know typically uh, you, it would be painful and swelling but with by, by using the, the light we can reduce the swelling we can reduce the pain medication and they can get on with their life more more quickly. Speed up, speed up the recovery, reduce the time and intensity of the suffering or the healing, the, what, what might go along with, with the healing time, but more, most importantly, not allow those patients to feel the need that they're going to live with unsolvable pain, because that's really the problem, is when people have chronic pain. I mean, everybody can deal with acute pain, and we, we, we're happy to give medications as well for acute pain. That's, we're not against any medications in any specific form. It's the long-term chronic inflammatory pains that have no other solution where people get addicted to the painkillers and still have no relief and still see no hope in recovering. That lack of hope, that lack of, lack of a solution long-term is what really drives people crazy, literally and metaphorically. And I've been there for a while myself. So I think that's a good time to bring us into the, the low floor for this whole, pain, whole body pain and optimization as well. So optimizing the healing, optimizing the human performance, as well as helping people out of pain. Being the first dental practice with an adjunct um, laser healing therapy center, how's, it been, how's your experience been with the Noble Thor in Sydney so far with your, with your patients, with your friends, with your family? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the the main reason we we thought that we'd be able to use Novothor is is for inflammatory conditions. So we we want to reduce the inflammation so that the patient can actually start healing. So the chronic condition no longer becomes chronic, and, and the patient actually starts to heal. So we thought, yeah, this would be fantastic for your rheumatoid arthritis or your osteoarthritis. It'd be great for that chronic non-specific back pain or, yes. or knee pain, shoulder pain, things that the light can, can get access to. But what we found was that um, the even difficult to reach areas like back pain seem to, to be, um, you know, have, have really good results. And then people with multiple injuries. Um, we had a, a colleague that, that came in for a, a sprained wrist, a broken ankle, a back pain, um, and whiplash. And, you know, she was able to be treated in all of those areas um, by going in, in, into the Yes. Yeah. Um, and so it's 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 conditions like that that, that are body wide that we we start to see. It's it's not just the, the dental related. Although I mean, anyone with periodontal disease, we will definitely 
use the, the light bed um, for, for sleep apnea where they have sort of full body inflammation, raised cortisol levels, you know, fibromyalgia. Those are the, the immediate patients that we sort of think to put in the bed. But so many other other patients are living with chronic pain and having other conditions, arthritis, somewhere, you know, some sort of joint pain, mobility, you know, and those are the ones that we we seem to be able to help um, effectively as well. It, it, it's I was, I was smiling when, when when you're talking about our dental patients who we put in the, in the bed as an adjunct, because that's what what we've been seeing over the last two months um, here at the, at the Norbert Hall Center in, in Auckland. We're doing it as a nice gesture for our patients before they undergo long, extensive dental treatment or um, anything that I might think might have some painful or swelling reaction post-op. So I put them in the bed before these appointments and then we see them after so we can see that, yes, the reactions are totally different. They're, they're healing faster, they're, they're highly in pain if at all and if there is any it just goes we put them in another session and it goes down immediately so this is one of the uses that we're doing it as an add-on for our patients however what's interesting is they become addicted to it which is a nice addiction <laughs> they, they go like i still didn't like the dentistry but thank you because the experience was amazing can i come back to this bed this is the part they get addicted to they don't nobody gets addicted to dentistry no matter how good we are or high tech we use <laughs> and that's a good thing i don't i wouldn't either but the, the feeling that they get from, from from the bed and knowing how well they heal and the energy buzz that they get they go can i keep coming back to that and of course you can that's that's a whole different standalone thing so it's not just we're only targeting people who are who have just known pain it's anybody any any human being who wants to feel better, look better, live longer, have a better quality of life and reduce or mitigate, prevent inflammation, brain, uh, brain damage from all the toxins and traumas and everything else that, that we get exposed to, uh, chronic inflammation that happen for a long period of time before you see any symptoms. It's, all the symptoms are cumulative only after a long period of time of inflammation. So we advise it to everyone, but really the ultimate is when they experience it they ask to come back and that's that's something that I love that I love seeing and I hope that's what I got from your response is that your patients as well are asking to come back for the bed yeah we're, we're seeing patients that you know have very nice side effects as, as a result of, of the treatment I mean, side benefits side benefits that's what I call them <laughs> so, <laughs> so as a side benefit you will get this and that yes. yeah. I know, a, a lady that, that that came in you know wanting some some cognitive maintenance. She um, she was also on warfarin, and then her legs were, were black to start off with. And the specialist had said that there's no treatment that can help with that. And you know, three four weeks into the treatment, her, her legs started to change color. They started to become normal color again. And and she was so happy that that had happened. And that was, as I said, a nice a side, a side benefit to, to happen as part of that. But one of the most, you know, um, dramatic changes was was a patient that came in with with Lyme disease. He had contracted Lyme, Lyme disease Lyme, yes. from from overseas, and he was really at the end of his tether. He was about to take a month off work, um, and he didn't know if the bed could help him at all. But he, he gave it a go. Didn't do so much the first time, but it, it doesn't always have much of an effect the first time. The second time, he thought, oh, something is happening here. So he went on the third and fourth time in a week, and the next week he was back at work again. And he was just as surprised as we were to, to see that, that kind of a change. Because he knows from before, from his experience, he would have needed a month to s just sleep, to, to recover. You know, so that's Temporarily recover until the next episode of yes. lethargy, pain, achiness, chronic fatigue. And Lyme disease, as with all these chronic debilitating diseases, chronic fatigue, ME, multiple sclerosis, um, osteoarthritis, Lyme disease, we know in conventional therapies they have no treatment. We just don't have a treatment for you. We'll help you manage it and, and this and that, but there is no treatment. Well, how about we change that? We literally reduce their inflammation and activate their own body's healing and their stem cells and their blood flow and all that, and their bodies heal. We're not even treating them, we're allowing them to heal. It just changes lives. And the good point that you brought up is that he didn't believe 
in it until he obviously experienced it, which is the most common thing with, with humans. Well, I don't understand, therefore I don't believe. You don't have to believe it. You've got to try it. Yes. Believe later. That's okay. Some of us believe first and then and then prove, prove, prove later. And some of us just, you don't have to believe it. Believe it when you believe yourself after you've seen the outcome. It just works. So the husband of, of that lady that, that came in, uh, who saw her, his, his wife's legs improve, you know, he had some scaly skin and a, a non-healing wound on his foot. He started to put his foot into the bed and that started to heal. And then his son, who had a skin condition which, which was burning and itching and then it would pus and swell, he went in the bed and then all of a sudden he didn't have any of those conditions this year. You know? so, you know, but, but what also we're finding is that um, the, the athletes that go in, into the bed, they're able to you know, recover from, from their workouts more quickly, especially the, the endurance sports. They, they are able to, to consistently train at, at a high level, which is just improving you know, their reaction times, their power. Um, from overseas reports, like from, from the, the, the Olympians and, and the Nike athletes that we see, you know, they are, they are, you know, they're actually expected to use the bed three times a week. So, so those kind of um, you know, results have just been amazing. Absolutely. And we, can, we can replicate those for our local athletes and our local, any human being who wants to, to perform at their, at their peak, peak level. Um, especially contact sports and fighting sports and all that where it's not just the training is causing injury and inflammation, but the actual activity of being in that sport is directly injurious um, to, to your brain, to the whole body and all that. So they constantly have to be in healing mode and recovery mode so that they can perform at their, at their peak and not have detrimental effects long term. Once they've retired, what's going to happen to their bodies? So it's, it's all of the above. It's really humbling to be able to serve all these people. I'm glad that we're doing this together in our part of the world and yeah. including more and more of our friends and colleagues and inviting them into this healing world because we also need it personally. Like one of the main, one of the first people that I needed this for was me, not before I served anybody else out there, was, it was me personally. And also I know that um, you've, you've had a colleague who I also know and, and, and like very much who's been struggling for a long time uh, with aches and pains and just practicing dentistry was, was miserable for her. Um, well, that's, that's been my case for, for the last few months until, until we start the normal throw sessions regularly. How long can you be like that? How can you? How long can you practice miserably or stop practicing your profession, whatever that profession is, and then do what? Um, versus getting your life back. Is she still coming back for the bed? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. She she wants to keep using it. Yeah. She, she's out of pain when she uses it. So. And you train a lot. You you're a semi-professional athlete yourself. <laughs> a weekend so, warrior. That's about yeah. your personal exper experience as a weekend warrior exactly. That's the good word. Yeah, like, I mean, when, when, I, when I train and I'm training hard for, for you know, an obstacle race, um, you know, something hurts uh, after that. Uh, I don't enjoy my running, but, you know, you have to do it for the obstacle race. So, you know, if I, if I can jump in the bed, you know, uh, after, after uh, the workout, then um, I don't feel so sore. Um, I feel like um, I can I can train again the, the the next day, and you know without you know um, feeling that uh, you know I have a, a lack of mobility. And and you can practice your dentistry as well because you yeah absolutely. you're not training <laughs> in off season. You're just training all the time and you're working all the time. So and and, and you know a profession like ours where we're we're sitting down for you know six seven eight hours a day. You know that that is that is difficult. It is. You know, we, we all need to move more, we all need to be more flexible and this is one of the ways that we can help uh, ourselves to, to, to maintain um, our, our optimal selves. And just happiness, joy and wellness. Just maintain and optimize that because without all of these for the long term, what have we got, right? So I think... Should we turn on the bed? We should turn on the bed. I was just, just literally thinking about that. I'm like, we think, I think we, we should just show how it looks like on the video, even though it's much more impactful in real life. But I want to show people how, of course, you'll see the red light, but not the infrared. There is infrared in there, but the, the camera won't see it, neither would our eyes. And since it's, it's a light bed, not a laser bed, it is safe for the eyes. Suddenly, the whole room turns red. I call it painting, painting the town red. We let some more out. It's too bright now. <laughs> so that's how it looks like. You get incubated in there for 15 to 20 minutes, and 
you just walk out of there literally enlightened. Every cell in your body is synchronized, activated, and healing and optimizing at the same time and regenerating. So, in <laughs> This is really cool. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Look forward to our next meeting and getting together and training more and more. Yes. Thank well, you, Jason. Thank you.